Hi everyone, I am Xu Yan. Today I'm presenting rain gun, unsupervised rain jaw removal via decomposition and composition. This work has been joined done with Dr. Yuan Ren Lo. Nowadays, self-driving cars heavily rely on computer vision, such as object detection and segmentation. They can perform really well on good weather condition. However, under adverse weather condition, their performance degraded significantly. Most of the time, the main cause is a adhering rain jaw on the windshield, which distort and occlude a portion of thing while driving. Annotating such data set is costly and also challenging to human. Another potential solution is to have a model to remove the rain jaw before passing the data, the images to the downstream task. In this paper, we propose a framework rain gun to remove the adhering rain jaws. The state-of-the-art rain jaw removal models are using pair data set for training. It is not practical to collect pair training data because training rain jaw images and clean images are mutually exclusive. One solution is we synthesize the rainy image from the clean images to form the pair training data set. However, the synthetic data distribution are different from the real rain jaw data distribution. The model learned from the synthetic data are unlikely to perform well on real-world data. Since the pair training data is not available, we can only leverage the unpaired data. In practice, we can always collect rain drawn images during the rain and collect the clean image before or after the rain. They do not have to be well aligned. We can also collect clean images right after each wipe of the car wiper during the rain. That will make the clean and rain drawn images similar enough, except for one has rain drawn and the other doesn't. Generic style transfer such as CycleGAN has demonstrated the possibility for style transfer with only unpaired data. However, the cycle consistency constraint couples the rain draw images and the translated clean images. The rain draw information is embedded into the translated clean images, so it can be translated back to the original rain draw images. This embedded information creates artifacts on the translated clean image. Our framework built on top of GAN and it's motivated by the assumption that a rain jaw image is a composition of a clean image and a rain jaw style. Hence, the rain jaw information can be eliminated from the translated clean image completely and be encoded into a separate rain jaw style latent code. We will be using rain jaw style latent code and rain jaw style interchangeably in the following sections. The rain jaw style can be composed back to the original range of image with the translated clean image or be composed to a new range of image with another clean image. The newly generated range of image can be served as a data augmentation. Hence, we formulate the range of removal as many to one image to image translation problem. The decomposition and composition function are implemented as two similar generator network. The decomposition generator decompose a rain draw image into a clean image and rain draw style code. Inversely, the composition generator compose a rain draw style code and a clean image into a rain draw image. We observe that the rain draw are sparse mostly of the time. Only some areas are covered by the rain jaw, and the rest are remain clean. To facilitate the identity mapping of the clean area, we introduce the residual module. The generator generate the residual image, which then being added to the input image, and followed by the 10 edge activation. Raygun comprises two generators and two discriminator networks. The training process is consists of a decomposition to composition and a composition to decomposition pipeline. Decomposition to composition pipeline decompose an image into a clean image and a range of style, regardless whether it contain any range of. Then it compose them back to the input image. The identity loss is applied to the translated clean image when the input image is, is clean. 
the objective is to train the decomposition generator to learn the identity mapping for the clean image. The adversal loss is applied to the translate the clean image when the input is a range of image. The decomposition generator is enforced to generate a clean image to fool the discriminator. Reconstruction laws are applied between the input images and composed images to enforce all the input image information are kept in the translator image and the ring draw style code. Coming to the composition to decomposition pipeline, the ring draw style extracted previously are composed with the other translator clean image. As a result, the ring draw style are transferred from one to the other. Again, loss is applied to the composed ring draw image. The objective of this pipeline is to augment the ring draw image with different permutation of ring draw style and clean image. Then they are used to train the decomposition generator in the pair setting. During inference, we simply forward the image to the decomposition generator. The clean image and the ring draw style will be generated. We can also transfer the ring draw style to another clean image to create a new ring draw image. We use Qian and Robocard, two well-aligned real-world datasets for training and evaluation. Because they provide well-aligned ring draw and clean images pair data, we can use PSNR and SSIN to benchmark the ring draw removal performance. Coming to the experiment, PSNR measures the difference between two images for each pixel. SSIM measures the structural similarity between two images. Both matrices are commonly used for evaluating ring jaw removal or denoise performance. We compare our result with one of the state-of-the-art pair training methods, Attendigam, and unpaired methods such as Cyclegan, LIR, DRNet, and a dedicated unpaired ring jaw removal method, WSSR. Again, our method outperformed all unpaired methods on both datasets for PSNR and SSIM. Our results are even comparable with pair training training method at NTGAM. The visualization result shows our method can remove the ring draw effectively. We conduct ablation study using Qian dataset by inserting residual module and composition to decomposition pipeline one by one to evaluate the effectiveness of each module introduced by us. We can see that the performance are boosted significantly by adding them. Conclusion In this paper, we propose an unpaired training framework, Ringgum. It is the first word that formulates the ring jaw removal problem as a many-to-one image-to-image translation problem, e-leverage unpaired real-world images, which makes the first approach to be able to remove the real-world ring jaw effectively. Through the composition of different permutation of clean images and ring jaw style, we synthesize the realistic ring jaw images for augmentation and further improve the ring jaw removal performance. We also introduce a residual block to the generator to facilitate the identity mapping.